entrepreneurs have launched a family-friendly sweet spot in Over the Rhine that serves more than 50 types of bulk candies, Jelly Belly, gourmet jelly beans, and specialty candy, much of it sourced locally. OTR Candy Bar is now open on Elm Street across from Finley Market. In this morning's Business Insight, a closer look inside Finley Market, the oldest surviving municipal market house, not just in Cincinnati, but Ohio. It opened in 1855 and in 1972 was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. It is one of the biggest attractions in Cincinnati, and we're happy to have the current president and CEO, Joe Hensbauer, with us this morning. He's in the studio with Business Courier editor Rob Dahmeyer. Joe and Rob. Thanks, Peg. Joe, thanks for being here. Sure. Um, we did a big, the Courier did a big, big uh, cover story in our print version a couple weeks ago about how uh, there are some developers right now who are looking at trying to develop uh, projects around Finley Market, even though really a lot most of the most of the money in development has so far gone on south of liberty you guys are of course uh, north of liberty uh, talk a little bit about what those projects are for people that m that might not be aware of it yeah so uh, we're very excited about the development that uh, is uh, happening and starting to happen uh, in and around the market um, there are some large projects uh, like model group um, which which basically has the entire uh, east side of ray street from from elder to finley and uh, and that project will be uh, under under construction later this year with uh, many of those storefronts opening um, in uh, the, the middle part of, of next year in 2016. Um, and the, the exciting part of that, and I, you know, they just referenced the OTR candy bar opening as well, is what we're now starting to see um, is the expansion of Finley Market beyond Market Square. Um, and so uh, eventually we envision the Market District being uh, race and Elm Streets from Liberty uh, all the way up to Finley Street. Um, which really harkens back to kind of what the market district once was. So, gotcha. um, so we're excited about that. And then there's plenty of, of smaller developers as well. There's uh, a property on Elm Street, um, which is under construction and will soon house uh, a kitchenware store uh, right. called Artichoke. Um, and, and so we're excited to both see uh, larger developers uh, doing large-scale projects, but then also individual developers that are able to bring individual properties back to life. In the market itself, I just happened to be down a couple weeks ago with my family. Had a, if you haven't been there in a while, um, it's, it's such a blast to be there and it's such an amazing part of Cincinnati. Um, but I noticed some things that I, I hadn't been there in a couple months that were new. Mm -hmm. What are some of the, the newest uh, yeah, one, one of the things that we just launched uh, uh, this past week um, was uh, a, start, a store called Dirt, uh, a modern market. Um, Dirt is a, uh, it's, it kind of takes our farm shed and shrinks it down to store size. So okay. um, all the products in there are either locally grown or locally made products. Um, it gives us the ability to make those products available during the week. Um, that. Uh, many folks are accustomed to seeing on the weekend with our farmers and pop-up vendors. Um, we'll also be opening that store and keeping it open until uh, 7 p.m. Uh, nightly. So we're starting to kind of push uh, into some of those evening hours and, and test that out as well. well that's great. Something uh, we wrote about a couple weeks ago that I think is very interesting is the idea that there could be a pedestrian-friendly sort of well, it is a street, but a, mm -hmm. a way to get from Washington Park, which is really obviously the anchor for the core of Over the Rhine, yeah. up to Finley Market, which is which is another anchor for the area. Talk a little bit about that uh, as we close here. Yeah, absolutely. So Pleasant Street uh, is that street. Uh, it dead ends into Washington Park on the south end. It dead ends into Finley Market on the north. Um, so it's a very great uh, pedestrian uh, pathway already. Right. Um, it's a very residential focused uh, street. And so we're working with the University of Cincinnati to see kind of what small and large scale improvements can be made to that street to uh, encourage people to uh, use that as a connector uh, to walk between uh, those two over the Rhine uh, assets yeah and I think uh, I think with the streetcar and with a, a street like that if that if this pedestrian friendly pleasant can can happen I really think the synergy would be amazing so good luck on that yep and great. thanks for being here thank you